and there may be times where you may want to automate the process of downloading a file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Selenium WebDriver to do that. Hello and welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we have the sandbox page for Automate Now. What we're going to be doing today is to download a file. We're going to click on this button that says File Download. And here we have different files that we can download. For example, we have a PDF document, a Microsoft Word document. We're going to download this document here, this PDF. Notice that when I click download, the file gets downloaded. Doing a video tutorial that just clicks on this button and downloads a file would be too boring. So we're going to change things up a bit. Let's go ahead and open this file. And this is what the PDF file looks like. One thing to note here is that the download location is in the downloads folder. We're going to use Selenium to change the default download location. Instead of downloading to the downloads folder, we're going to be using a different folder. Let's go to the code. And here we have the test that we're going to be working on. It's called test file download. When we get to the sandbox page, we first need to click on the file download button. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is going to return a handle to the file download page. Next, we're going to say file download dot download PDF. I already went ahead and created this file download page page object. It is this one right here. I also created one method inside of it, this download PDF method. Let's go ahead and take a look at this method. And all this is doing is clicking on the download button for the PDF. That is this download button right here. Now we said that we want to change the default download directory. For that, we need to go to the base page. So let's go to the base page here. In the last video, I showed you how we could use the Chrome Options class to run our test in headless mode. In this video, we're going to be using the Chrome Options again. But this time, we're going to be using it to specify a different default download directory. Let's go ahead and add a comment here. Next, we need to say Chrome Options, Options is equal to New Chrome Options. This website here contains some useful information of what we can do with Chrome Options. I will be putting a link to it in the video description. If we scroll down here, we're going to find this section that says Set Download Directory, and it gives us some sample code that we can use. Notice that after declaring the Chrome Options, we need to create a hash map. And that hash map is going to contain this information here, a key and a value. So the key is going to be download.default directory. We're going to use this to specify where we want files to be downloaded. And here we're going to specify a path. Lastly, we're going to call this options that set experimental option. And we're going to pass in those preferences. So let's just go ahead and copy this code here and go back to our test. We're going to paste it here. Now we need to specify this path here where we want the files to be downloaded. In my case, I want the files to be downloaded here in the C drive slash automation slash automate now. So I'm going to copy this path and go back to the code. Now I'm going to put that here. Then I need to add two backslashes at the end. A special note here is that you need to keep in mind these points being made on this page. The first one says that you cannot download to certain directories. For example, you're not allowed to download to the desktop. In my case, I managed to be able to do so, but this may be a little outdated. It also says that Chrome does not automatically wait for a download to complete. That means that if we call driver that quit too soon, the download may not happen. Also, relative paths don't always work, and they are suggesting here that we should use a full path. This is exactly what we're doing here. We're providing a full path. We're providing the drive name along with the path. It also says here that if you're using Windows, you should be using a backslash instead of a forward slash. And that is what we're doing here. And the reason why you see two backslashes is because the first one is escape character. If I remove this, I'm going to get an error. And the error we see is illegal escape character in string literal. We cannot use a single backslash in a string literal. And that's why we add a second one. And this is saying ignore this backslash, as it applies to the rule for string literals. The last thing that we need to do here is to call this Chrome driver with these options that we provided. So inside of this parentheses, we need to say options so that these options that we provided can be taken into account when the browser opens. And now we're ready to run our test. When this test run, we should expect the PDF to be saved in this file directory under the Automate Now folder. Let's go ahead and run the test. Okay, so the test passed. Let's go take a look at that directory. And guess what? The file did not download. Why do you think that is? Let me take you back to this point here. 
it says the Chrome driver does not automatically wait for downloads to complete. This means that our test passed, but it did not give enough time for that file to download. So let's go ahead and fix that. We're going to go to this file download page, page object. So after we click the download button, we need to wait for the download to complete. The download takes about three seconds for this small file. So this is the one case where you're going to see me do something that I don't usually do, which is to use the thread that sleep method. So instead of writing some complex logic to check the file system and see if the file has been downloaded, I'm simply going to use the thread that sleep method to wait a couple of seconds for the file to download. And this is going to help minimize unneeded complexity in my framework. So we're going to say thread that sleep. This is in milliseconds, so we need to pass in 3000. And here we have an error, so let's go ahead and surround this with a try catch. Now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and rerun the task. Notice the file is downloaded, and now the three seconds are going by. The three seconds are over. Once again, the test passed. Let's go ahead and take a look at that download directory that was specified. And sure enough, our file has been downloaded. Let's go ahead and open it. And indeed, this is the same file that we expected. Now you know what you need to do if you ever need to download a file into Linium. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.